Hi, Christy here. Today I wanted to share from one of my many card decks that I never use. <laughs> I love card decks. They're beautiful. They have words. I love words. I buy them thinking I'm going to use them and I usually don't. But I had a friend visit me last week. Part of the reason why I was missing from YouTube. I didn't get around to doing my videos. Anyway, she loves card card decks and even brought one of hers with her. And we went into a bookstore and she was looking at some cards. And it made me think of my own. And so I picked up this box out of my dresser, the, teaching of the Teachings of Abraham Well-Being Cards by Esther and Jerry Hicks. As you know, that probably Abraham does, it's channeled material from Abraham. The top of the deck was this card. It says, I am selfish enough to want to feel good. And on the back it says, feeling good indicates your connection to clarity, wellness, and abundance of all good in all good things. Feeling good is your most natural core belief, which I love this card. I don't love the word selfish. I don't think most people do because it really sounds like you're greedy and you're over-focused on yourself versus self-aligned or self-committed or, or some other way of saying it's important to you to prioritize yourself. And also, I think some people flip this around that if they're feeling good, that means they're selfish in some way. Like if anyone around them is miserable, they need to be miserable right there with them. And if you know my work, you know I'm all about sovereignty. People get to have their experiences. You can certainly have empathy for them, but it doesn't mean you have to actually feel their feelings. So anyway, I, I don't love the word selfish, but I do love the idea of we know we're aligned to ourselves when we're feeling good. So if we're over giving, we're probably resenting it. If we're not giving, but we feel like we should be giving, we're probably feeling guilty. And somewhere inside of us, we know what is our responsibility and what isn't. I could talk at length about responsibility. It comes up a lot actually in readings. Anyway, today on my mind is feeling good and not, as a result, feeling selfish. I love to hear in the comments below how you've grown and evolved around the word selfish over the years. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. And in the meantime, please go be brilliant.